This is a 28-year-old woman with a three-year history of medically resistant treated prolactin secreting tumor. She had a two-centimeter tumor in the posterior upper quadrant of the gland. The gland is pushed forward to the right with the stalk in front of the tumor in this particular case. What we did was we exposed the cella, knowing that the tumor uh, was persistent in the posterior left aspect. What you can see here as we've opened, you can see the tumor down inferior here. And what we're going to do is lift over the normal beefy red gland over the top of this um, tumor. There you can see the tumor, which is yellowish with some evidence of treatment effect, but as you know, completely responding tumors do not do this. Completely responding tumors generally have are, are darker and can be bloodier. We cut with the feather blade into what is normal gland on the upper right side. We continue to elevate that red gland, which is going to be to the right and superior over what is this yellowish type material consistent with the, with the tumor itself. Here we continue exposing it. Um, as you'd expect when these tumors shrink a little bit, they become part of the, they, they, they can grab onto the gland a little bit, so sometimes it can be difficult to dissect away. Here we push the diaphragm away superiorly. Ultimately, we'll find that it's actually infiltrated and we'll need to remove it as part of the tumor resection in order to sure, ensure long-term remission. Here we've worked inferior and around, and we find that this dura that it's attached is difficult to know if it's involved, so therefore we're also going to resect this as well as part of the treatment. So we will push up this interior wall of the cavernous sinus. There's a little bit of diaphragmatic arachnoid superiorly there as you can see. And again, ultimately, because we don't know if this is involved or not, this will be removed as well. There's our tumor, mostly. Now we've removed most of that and we're cutting away those membranes. You can see the residual gland up into the left and anterior. And ultimately, at the end, we'll uh, what we don't remove will bipolar cauterize, uh, except for the gland, obviously, but these dural membranes that are, appear to be um, what are probably normal, but uh, not worth resecting in some circumstances. The patty to the left is over the arachnoid that we resected. We'll show you that in a second here with high magnification. So you can see here the diaphragm is now removed. We removed all the walls of the tumor. You can see the gland up to the anterior aspect of the cella superiorly. You'll see this in a second, the stalk. You can see the stalk coming into the superior aspect of the diaphragm that we resected. You can see the hypothalamus, the hypoptic chiasm, the mammillary bodies, and the PCAs here. Now, <clears throat> this is a tough uh, defect to um, repair. We just placed duragen within it in a nice nasal septal flap. The patient's prolactin postoperatively went from 220 to less than 1, and she had no evidence of diabetes insipidus postoperatively with intact pituitary function. She overall has done very well from surgery with no additional issues. This is that duragen, a little piece of uh, gel foam first, and the duragen going into this resection cavity uh, for final closure and repair. No intraoperative complications occurred.